Hi guys, welcome back. It's me, Joy's Love, the number one empress, and I'm here to do my Scorpio's bonus reading. And this is for me appreciating all the um, the views that I got. You know, you guys always come through. So why not reward you with a bonus reading? Keep it up. I'm going to always do it. <laughs> so I appreciate you guys. Continue to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Um, hit the bell on the side so you can get all the updated videos when I post them. If you like a personal reading or donate to the channel, the information will be in the description box below. Check that out, please. And um, just continue to be the best. Because Scorpios, you know you my track. Okay? Um, I appreciate for the cards already, so let's get into the reading. God, so spirit, I ask that you come into me and let me say your words and not my own, so that I can give Scorpio, my gods and goddesses, my water signs, my intuitive signs, my partners in crimes, the best reading possible, as accurate as possible. Thank you, spirit. Amen. All right, so Scorpios, I did feel like I really needed that breath. So, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Oh, what's going on? Let's see what's on and popping <laughs> with my Scorpios. This is you guys' bonus reading. Thank you. Okay, so right now, let me just pull your cards for with this bonus reading. I'm gonna do a different spread. Past, present, future outcome and advice. Past, present, future outcome and advice. Past, present, future outcome and advice. I do feel some stubborn energy from someone. It could be you or the cross watcher. Can I get some? Outcome and advice. Outcome and advice. Okay. Alright. So, um, right now, with the overall energy, you just feel like that's that energy of what, what I just said. I think I needed to take a breath. Yeah, that's because you can be dealing with a fire sign that you're just really tired of. That you just really um, is over the BS. And it's like they, they, you're dealing with too much dealing with this person. And you're just ready to move forward. You're ready to take action on your dreams, aspirations, and what you want to do. Because um, you know that... Um, you have been manipulated by this person and this person has been doing, you know, spending that time with other people, places, and things. You could have been in a third party situation. You know this now. And it's like, it's too much for me. I'm ready to move on. I'm ready for a new love. And you're ready to get it because you're just bored with your old situation and you're ready to move forward and look at all the different options that's at your disposal. Okay, <laughs> you got some mental clarity coming. It's there. You like, I know enough is a fucking enough. All right, I feel you, Scorpios. I feel you when you look at you showing up. You always showing up at your own party. Like, don't play with me. Don't play with me. This is over. It is dead and gone, and I'm ready to resurrect some goodness. I'm ready to resurrect some love, some real love. Somebody that I can trust and build with, and you won't stop until you get it. Won't stop till I get enough. Oh, won't stop till I get enough. See, I'm loving this energy, Scorpios. I'm glad I did this bonus reading for y'all. It's some good energy. It's you standing up for yourself. And this is you making good choices. Let's move forward. Okay, so your past energy, you got the two of pentacles. Okay, with the two of pentacles here, this is you juggling a choice and a decision with this person. You just don't want to let them go, Scorpios. Let's, let's verify this two of pentacles. Verify the two of pentacles, please. And I'm going to do these bonus reading, you know, a lot. When, you know, I get good stuff like that, all them likes and subscribes. I'm enjoying it. Okay? So, it's like you is juggling 
um, your health and everything dealing with this person from the past. This person is all about themselves. This person do not take your feelings into consideration. This person is all about them. And it's like you making yourself physically sick, steady, going back and forth with this energy. It's too much. It's like mentally draining as well. And right now, you're just getting fed up. You're like, I don't want to hear it no more. I don't want to deal with it no more. But you really love this person. So it's like, um, that's what you, you know, your emotions is kind of up in the air at this point. Give me another one. Yeah, because you it's like you're begging for this person to love you. You're begging for this person to give you anything. It's, it's not an equal give and take. You're dealing with too much dealing with this person. You're doing all the work. And you're tired of that. You're ready to get what you got coming. That's coming from God's so source spirit in the universe. All right? Past, present. Your present energy, you have the six of pentacles. That's once again, this person penny, this person penny pitching you. This person is, you know, you, you was doing all the work, Scorpios. It's like you doing all the work while this person is just living the vida loca. And you're ready for some happiness. You're ready for a peace of mind. You're ready to stand up for yourself. It's like, I will cut you. Don't play with me. I done been through hell and back with you. Do not play with me. You at the place where you're just tired. Where you see in the situation clearer and you're ready to cut out anything that no longer serves you. Even him. Or her. Okay? It's like, uh, no. I'm not dealing with this no more. I'm not dealing with the big me and little you. You know what I'm saying? Or little you, big me. Yeah. It's like this person feel like they're a god over you. And like you, they don't have to do as much as you have to put in. And they still want everything. You're tired of feeling like that. You deserve an equal give and take. You deserve to, you know, allow your emotions to be at forefront. And you really can't with this person. You got to get serious and act not yourself mean, obnoxious, just to get a point across dealing with this individual and you're ready for some happiness. You're ready for a peace of mind. Okay. Past, present, future. Your future energy, you got the hermit. So this is you like, you know, isolating yourself, listening to your intuition, trusting God's so spirit, and you know, being enlightened on what, what you need to do next. Because this this person, this individual, I feel like that you guys could have been dealing with for a while, a, you know, a couple of years or so, or you know, it just felt it probably just felt like that. And now you have to isolate yourself from this energy so that you can, you know, be enlightened, going within, listening to your intuition on moving forward and going towards your really, the real happiness. Verify the hermit. We really don't need to. But, yeah. Yeah. This person was moving too slow. This person was moving too slow, giving you what it is that you want, and you're turning your back on it, and you're ready to move forward and take action on what it is that you want out of life. You got to be a role model for the for the youngins. And, you know, you're just feeling like, I'm going to take the bad with the good, and I'm going to just, you know, scroll on up out of here because this is taking too long for my, uh, this, this, this is taking, you was taking too long for my health. You taking too long to develop and grow. I gotta leave you behind. Catch up with me in a couple of years. <laughs> Past, present, future, your outcome. You got the eight of cups. You're ready to walk away. It's like, I, I can't do this no more. I can't do this no more. It's too much going on. It's too much secrets too many secrets it's too many playing with people's emotions it's too many lies and it's like i gotta if i'm gonna be in sadness and darkness i can do it on my own i'm gonna walk away from this situation because it's just too toxic for me it's too it keeps me in a low vibration 
and it's like your person coming to you saying, I, I, I don't, please don't leave. Please don't leave because I'm going to stand up. I'm going to help you financially because they, they know that you was all of that in a bag of chips. They know that you is, you know, this emperor here and they don't want that love to lead them. It's like they're going to be jealous, you know, because you have someone else. You was falling for someone else. And you're going to you're gonna be with this person, too. You got somebody else coming in as soon as you walk away from this person who's been manipulating you. And you got your own money. You ain't going to need their money no more. So as you're going to walk away from this person and you're going to meet somebody that got a lot of money, this person is going to be it's going to be a long term situation. It's like you guys going to uh, move in, get a house and everything together. You was like looking at this person like I love and adore you. I like how you treat me, you know, and this person is looking back at you like I got you, boo. Don't worry about it. And y'all going to have a family together and you're going to strategize with each other, have each other back. The secret's going to be, you ain't going to have none. It's going to be very transparent, and everything is going to be good on the material realm. Oh, man, I'm liking that. Oh, this is your soulmate. Okay, you had the, this is your soulmate, your twin flame. This is your person. It's going to be so hot and heavy. You're going to like it, Scorpios. You're going to like it. But you're going to have to let go of this toxic energy that's not keeping, you know, this, this, that you struggling with. Let it go. This person, that, that, that person has an addiction that they, it won't allow them to be their higher self. That person who you know that they can be, this addiction won't allow them to do that. So you have to really see a situation for what it is, which you are seeing it. And you just have to move accordingly, listening to your intuition, moving forward. Okay? Your advice, you have the king of swords. Your advice is, it's time for you to stand up. It's time for you to cut out anything that no longer serves you. It's time for you to know that you have somebody that's on your level that's coming your way. You probably already know them. And it's time for you to, you know, stand up for yourself because you've been down long enough. You've been taken advantage of and walked on long enough. It's time for you to soar like the eagle that you are. It's time for you to step away from this situation so that you can see it in a different light and you can make the right choice of cutting it out because it's not it's not conducive to your life anymore. You have passed the test. Okay? And you just, you know, it's time for you to open and be in the receiving mode to this new person that's coming in. This is your advice. You have sacrificed enough with this situation, that old situation. And that person is just a very immature energy that's not on your level. You have somebody that you got your back turned towards at this point to where if this person is on your level, you know them already. You know them. So it's time for you to turn around and get your partner because it's there. This person is all of that. This person is somebody you can rely on, someone who where it's going to be, um, you're going to be financial stable. You're going to, you know, you know, work with each other on, on strategizing on how to make things better. It's going to be very emotional. You got the king and the queen of cups. It's going to be awesome. And the two of cups. It's right here. Thank you, Spirit. But you have to make the right choice of stop paying so much attention to this low vibrational energy of this page of cups. This person is not on your level and, they're, and they're, they probably will never be. You have sacrificed enough for this person. Stand up. Soar. Okay? I'm going to give you an oracle card to sum this up. Thank you, Spirit, for this message. The bonus reading for my Scorpios. Once again, I appreciate all the likes, subscribes, the comments, the shares. 
Thank you so much. Continue to do your thing, Scorpio. Do your thing. Do your thing. <laughs> You have the strength card, Archangel Ariel. That this strength card, good, great, not even good, great in a strength. Release harsh judgment, forgiving, forgiveness, and compassion. It's time for you to dig deep, Scorpios. From that, that dig deep within yourself and get that little inch of strength that you have down there. Your angels are ruling you on, pushing you towards greatness. And it's it's like I, I you want it. Take it. Release the harsh judgment that you have about yourself, about you not worthy enough. You are worthy enough. You are worthy enough. You are worthy enough. It's coming your way. Victory is here. You have done an a amazing job of um, what it is that you're supposed to have been doing. You didn't, you didn't been through so much, and you have passed these tests. You got good things coming your way to reward you, but you have to make this one last choice of letting go of that all of anything that no longer serves you. People, places, and things. Forgiving and having compassion towards them, not having a grudge understanding that their their struggle and what they did to you is a part of who they are and what they're dealing with so they they reflected that towards you it's, it don't have anything to do with you knowing that standing in your power knowing who you are okay the night of fire passionate adventurous self-assured restless a sudden event that needs immediate attention Time is of the essence. Think things through carefully. Yeah, because this person is coming in. This person ain't finna let you go so easily. So this person is coming in, Scorpio, saying, please don't leave me. I love you. Don't leave me. I'm going to do the right things. Uh, they know all the right words to say to you. And they're going to do a push real hard. And they're going to do uh, pull out all the stops. Got have you gifts and everything. And like, please don't do this. Give me one last chance. And you're going to have to make the, the best choice for you. Dig it for that little strength that you got inside to say enough is a fuck enough. Okay. The eight of Ariel. Take great pride in your... Take great pride in your excellent work. See, you did good. Don't be so hard on yourself. You did good. You've been through hell and back, and you still up. Practice make perfect. Consider getting additional education and training. Anything that you feel lack of, push towards. Learn a little bit about it. You got this. Perspective, Archangel Shemuel. Number three, guys, look up number three. There's a better way. Pause for reflection and insight. Dare to be different. Whew. Take a deep breath, Scorpios. Congratulate yourself for how far you have got and uh, have gotten. You know, build yourself up and know that you are all of that. Know that you are an empress, a queen, a goddess, a god, a king. Knowing it. Standing in your power. seeing, Stepping away from situations and seeing it at your higher self. This is how you allow things to fall off. Standing in your highest power. Knowing that, you know, seeing things different. Doing things different. Yes. Thank you, spirit. Knowing who you are. Mm. Love yourself first. Your self-respect make you more romantically attractive. You know, when that person comes to you loving yourself first, you're going to be like, I can't do it. I can't do it. Because I'm finna sacrifice for you again. I can't sacrifice for nobody. I can't do it. Loving yourself. Knowing who you are. You're not gonna allow nobody, nothing to get in the way of your happiness when you're loving yourself. And guess what's coming? 
after that. You you pass this test, you tell this person, no, no, no. You got good things coming in and love, and this person is going to marry you. You're going to get married. You're going to get married. Okay? This situation involved marriage. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment for full, fully. Oh, release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. It's too exhausting. Oh, oh, and look at reconciliation. No, no, this is them coming back saying, No, 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 don't leave me. No, go away. <laughs> Okay, Scorpios, um, I'm going to give you this one chakra. Your fifth chakra, your throat chakra. Look, it's, it's messed up. Y'all can feel the blockage now. I just felt something. Okay, and my throat chakra. Setting boundaries, Scorpios. Listen, I teach others how to love and respect me by how I love and respect myself. My integrity is, support, is supported when I express my thoughts and feelings. I am aware of excessively wanting to please others. I will maintain and grow my personal power by saying yes when I mean yes and saying no when I mean to say no. I speak up for myself, and I set boundaries regarding other people's behavior. I do this by asking for what I do want, such as respect, patience, tolerance, and support, rather than telling them what I don't want. Thank you, Spirit, for this message. Thank you. And this is totally what we need to do what the Scorpios need to do. You need to set boundaries. You need to express yourself in a positive way, speaking your mind. And you know that that's how I said, that's how that energy will fall off. And this is how you will conquer this, this last piece of this level and move towards your happiness. Okay, so wear more blue, take more long bubble baths, you know, blue, 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 go by a lake, a pond, a stream, um, an ocean, anywhere to sit and be still to listen to your intuition because you know you Scorpios are very intuitive and it's time to dig deep and it's time to make better choices for your life, for your happiness, for your peace of mind. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. Okay, well, good luck with everything, Scorpios. You know I love you guys. And until next time, please put a comment down below if this energy resonates with any of you. I would appreciate it. Continue to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And thank you guys once again for being patient with me. I've got guys, you know, moving and stuff going on. So I'm trying to get you know, do as much as I can. And I appreciate you guys' patience once again. I love you guys. Be safe. And until next time, peace out.